In today's video, I'm going to talk about KDP's new hardcover feature as well as give a review of their hardcover books. Welcome to my channel. My name is Caroline and I make videos to help you master your mindset and make money online so that you can build a life you love. Now, I know I'm probably a little late to the party on creating a video about KDP's new hardcover feature. You may have already seen other YouTube channels make videos about the hardcover feature a week or even two weeks ago when this feature was rolled out across the board to every KDP account that is currently active. But I still did want to make this video because I do actually have a hardcover book and I wanted to show you that even though it is still through a video, but I just wanted to give you my comments on what I think of the actual quality of their hardcover books. And once I've done that, I will go over the requirements of creating a hardcover book for KDP. Now, I'm one of the lucky people who have had access to hardcover books for quite a while now, quite a few months, but now everybody has or should have access to hardcover cover books and several months ago I created a video where I showed you my process of creating a gratitude journal. Now if you haven't seen that video and you do want to check it out I'll link to that in the top of this video where I showed you making a gratitude journal basically from start to finish. And so when I did get the hardcover feature I decided to create a hardcover version of that book and order it for myself because I really wanted to see what the actual quality of these hardcover books were like. And this is it here. Now, I could only order an author copy because I am based in Australia and we do not have access to hardcover books in Australia. So that's what this line across the middle of the book is saying that this is not for resale. So this is just my own author copy. But that aside, I'm actually pretty happy with the quality of this hardcover. Now, interior wise, it is the same interior pages that you would get on a paperback so the quality the thickness of the pages are exactly the same but a feature of these hard covers that i really like are these pages called end sheets so these end sheets are the first page inside the hardcover and there's also one at the back now these are a really nice thick premium stock and it really gives the book a nice premium feel and I really wish that you could actually print on these have some sort of pattern or color or something like that because a lot of premium journals and notebooks that I see and that I purchase my purchase myself have these end sheets and quite often they do have a nice pattern or at least just a solid color there so it would be really nice in the future if we did have the option to put something on these that we wanted but at this point it looks like it's just a white plain page that they're popping at the beginning and the end of the book. Now I chose to print this particular book as a matte cover not a glossy because just in my personal preference I like matte covers and generally most of my paperback books are also in matte and I like that as well. And these are the type of hard covers that don't come with a dust jacket so your cover is printed directly on the front cover of the book and the cover is a two mil thick case board and it is perfect bound which means the pages here are grouped together in one big clump and glued as opposed to being sewn like a lot of books or notebooks tend to be. So I hope that being able to see at least through this video what these hardcovers look like and the quality of them so that you it can help you decide whether you actually want to create hardcover books as well. I have to be honest I probably didn't choose the best color kind of cover to show off the hardcover exactly and how it will print. It probably would have been better doing a dark color or some sort of patterned cover to show you the printing, but it is a really nice finish and what did print on this cover printed really well. So I personally am really happy with the quality of the hardcovers, comparing them with other hardcover books and notebooks and journals that I buy personally from local stores, the quality is on par with all of those other books. And since it doesn't really cost you anything to create hardcover books, there is no harm in just going through your account and converting all your paperbacks into hardcovers or starting to create hardcover books regardless of what type of book you're making. But the reality is that there are going to be some books that perform better as hardcovers than others. And typically books that are going to be given as gifts, books that are going to be used 
regularly for a long period of time or books that people want to keep are going to be the kind of books that will sell better as a hardcover. You'll generally find things like coloring books, activity books, stuff like that they're not going to sell as a hardcover. Hardcover is obviously more expensive to print, so you are going to have to price your books higher in order to be able to still make a decent royalty on them. And that's why generally those types of books will do better, keepsake type of books or books that are going to need more longevity out them, and people are prepared to pay more for those types of books. Also, not every type of book is going to be able to be printed as a hardcover book. So your book does have to have a minimum of 75 pages to print in hardcover. So if your book is smaller than that, your only option is going to be paperback still. Not every trim size is available to print in hardcover either, but the most common ones, which are the six by nine inch and 8.5 by 11 inch, they are included in the hardcover option. So for the majority of us, that's the sizes we would usually be making. It's not going to be an issue for us. But if you are somebody who does already have a lot of books, uploaded to your KDP account. It could be very time consuming to go through every single one of them and create hardcover books. So in that sense, it may really be only the ones that are going to make sense as hardcovers that you would want to create a hardcover book for or a hardcover version for. And also hardcovers are not available in every marketplace yet. Again, most of us are probably selling in the US Amazon site and the UK. They're probably your biggest, biggest marketplaces where you sell the most books. They are not available in Australia and they are not available in Canada. But again, they're probably marketplaces that don't really make up a huge chunk of your sales. And I'm sure that those marketplaces will be getting hardcover in the near future. Now, let me give you a really quick rundown on how you can create hardcovers. You've probably already been into your account and played around with the hardcover feature, but just in case you haven't, I'll quickly run through the process of creating some hardcover books. So if you do want to create a hardcover from an existing book that you already have a paperback for, you just need to go into your KDP account, find the book that you do want to make a hardcover, and you just click click this create hardcover option down here. The reason you want to do it here is because you aren't creating a whole different book. You are just making a different version of the book and you want it to be sold on the same listing sales page as the paper book. So let me show you an example. So if we just take a look at basically any kind of KDP or Amazon book, not necessarily published by KDP, but I'm just going to try and find one that has both hardcover and paperback so you can see what the listing is going to look like. So this is essentially what you want to happen. So by using the link from your existing paperback to create a hardcover, it will create a listing where you have access to the paperback version and access to the hardcover. You're not going to have Kindle and audiobook unless you have a fiction or non-fiction book or a high content book. So don't worry about those. But this is essentially what your listing would look like. So if you went and created a hardcover from up here, it would create a completely separate listing. And when people go to your paperback listing, they wouldn't realize that you have a hardcover listing. And if they went to your hardcover listing, they wouldn't realize you have a paperback listing. The two need to be linked. And so people can see they've got that you've got the exact same book, but you have the option of a paperback and an option of a hardcover for them to purchase. So the books are not going to be any different aside from the type of cover the customer can purchase. So when you create a hardcover from your existing paperback, KDP will basically pre-fill all the information from the paperback, but it is setting up a new listing in the back end of your account. But you pretty much would not want to change anything. Leave everything the same, the book title, the subtitle, the description, and all that sort of stuff. Because like I've just said, this is going to be the exact same book, just with a different cover. So you don't want to change any of this metadata here. You want it to stay the same because everything's going to stay the same on the listing page. We then go on to the second page of setup, which is the content. Now you do need to get yourself a new ISBN. So in publishing, every version of a book has to have a different ISBN. So the paperback version of a book will have one ISBN. The hardcover version of a book will have a different ISBN. So you'd still need to click this to get yourself a KDP ISBN if that's the ones that you use. 
and then all the print options will stay the same unless of course you prefer your hardcover to be a uh, different finish to your paperback but you just need to leave everything else here the same it's going to be the same sized book just choose what cover finish you want and then you will need to upload your manuscript again your manuscript is the interior of the book this stays the same because the interior of the book is not changing the interior is going to be exactly the same regardless of a paperback or a hardcover you will need to upload a new cover file though because paperback and hardcover are going to have different dimensions because different thicknesses in paper and stuff like that so you will need to create a new cover file for a hardcover book now all you need to do is go to the kdp website where they have all the information you need for anything to do with your kdp account and you can just download the hardcover template from here and from there it will basically work the same way as creating a paperback so create your hardcover cover using the template that you can download here in whatever graphic design program you normally use or however you normally make your covers it's exactly the same just with slightly different dimensions and when you have done that you can upload that along with your interior and go through the same process that you normally would going through the launch previewer checking that everything looks good and ready for print and then the last step is your pricing and you will just need to price your book according to the hardcover specs and what you think your hardcover book would sell for comparing with other hardcover books in your niche and that sort of thing while still giving you a decent royalty now if you don't have an existing paper book that you want to create a hardcover for all you do is go to your KDP account and you will have the option here now to select a hardcover and that will just basically create a hardcover from scratch. Again, the process is exactly the same as what you would normally do with a paperback version of your book. You just need to upload the hardcover cover specs and cover dimensions. Now, if you do want to see my video on how to upload a book to your KDP account in 10 minutes or less, then I will pop a link to that video at the top of this screen. And the process for hardcovers, like I say, is just the same. And it really is as simple as that to create hardcover books. And it's really great that Amazon has given us this new option so that we have something more to offer our customers and have given us this new tool to be able to create better books. So it's just great that we can offer more for our customers and for Amazon's customers. And it is really nice to have this more premium version to be able to offer some of our books in hardcovers because like I say, some books are going to do better as hardcovers and it's just all about having the options and the choice to be able to make better things. If you have enjoyed this video and you have learned something new, please let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video.